Ah, ha, ha. Oh, that's hot. That's hot. What's up humans, it's your boy Morks. I have been wanting to make this video for a while, but the sheer difficulty of the mission made me put it off. Today I'm gonna land a Lego brick on Mercury using Starship. However this video will be different, because I will be reusing everything. You may be wondering, why I'm all of a sudden going to Mercury, even though it's the worst planet. That is because my boy Kennedy, came to me, and told me this. We choose to go to Mercury. We choose to reach 100 subs by this week. And do the other things. Not because they are easy, but because they are hard. That's right. We will reach 100 subs by the end of this week. So if this is your first time here, I highly recommend subscribing and clicking the bell. So when my 100 subscriber special is released on Sunday, you will be the first to see it. Anyway, back to the video. Honestly, I thought landing a bigger booster on the landing pad would be impossible because of my performance in the previous videos. You can see, I don't have a good reputation for landing on target. Despite my terrible track record, I will try to land this booster. Of course, I will set a beat drop for this landing. I don't know what this is, but it's kinda hot. Tommy. After I separated Starship from Super Heavy, like opening a jar, I decided to land on the moon to get a refill on juice. Getting to Mercury will require 10,000 Delta V, so refueling is required. After refueling on the moon, I decided to make another pit stop at Eve's moon, Gilly. This descent took 30 minutes because the gravity on this moon is so weak, you could fart your way to orbit. Finally, after dying 8 times, I touched down on Gilly. I quickly refuel and set a course for Mercury. I'll be back when I'm about to land. After 3 painful years of waiting, I finally touch down on the surface. Then I deploy my robotic arm to carefully drop the Lego brick on the surface. Once the Lego brick is deployed, I drink the planet in order to fill my juice tanks, and then I say goodbye to this dumb planet and take off. Since it is easier to leave Mercury than it is to get there, I won't need to refuel, and I can go directly to Kerbin. Once I reach Kerbin, I begin to position myself for some dope aero braking. The heat from re-entry almost destroyed the craft, which is why I will be doing two sets of braking until I finally land. As always, I will play a beat drop for this final landing. Don't forget to subscribe, because I can't reach 100 subscribers by Sunday on my own. Morks out. <laughs>